I think kudos is about bringing people together and creating a, a new type of learning experience. Welcome to our first host to host event. We're really excited. We've invited a bunch of hosts. Um, we've asked them all to invite at least one person who would make a great potential host. When I heard about kudos, I thought it was an ideal time for me to give back whatever I can. I always love when I'm able to tell somebody about something that I like to do or have done or even tell them about my day and for them to be interested in saying that's something that I want to do as well. The Kudur that I was with, we did part of the experience, you know, together, and then she was able to like do that same activity on her own. It was really like quick uptake. When they came in the door, when Robert came, we looked at a, a bunch of recipes and I had sort of opened and put books on the table and I said, do any of these sound good? And he, he was a little tenuous and a little scared, you know, like what the heck is going on here? So I said, I think lentil. So then we just started chopping the basics, right? So we put some carrots and the lentil. Let's get a food chopper now. Yeah, well I did, that's a food chopper. This is pampered chef, yeah. We actually were using knives. We were using Probably finding uh, exactly what they can do within that amount of time other than look around and ask questions and explore. But some of the most successful moments I think have been just literally trying on a costume or you know, watching somebody make something or cut some wood or throw some paint onto something or just stepping on a set. Well, definitely learning how to use some of the tools. Safety was a big one we were, we were uh, discussing when Annie came. Um, just learning how to make a simple meal. Like a lot of Pepper Chef's recipes are easy to do, not too many ingredients. So hopefully, like I said, that they can replicate it and, and try again. Well, I was hoping that he might get a bit of a feel of what the German language feels like when you speak it. I have learned to use music and dance to make myself fit and better. I'm hoping to teach people that we can use it to make ourselves strong and happy. I think it's important to look at, you know, kind of like uh, what are the things that you're going to be able to like touch or see, what are the things you're going to be able to do, uh, just to kind of have an idea in your head what you want to, what you want the person to get out of the experience. I would think I would say to them that if they love the subject that they wanted to host, if they really truly in love with it, they would have no difficulty in sharing it. You just have to get to know the person and see who they are, and after a while you don't even realize that people have a disability. All you need to do is, is, uh, is really don't impose limits or try to boil down the, the experience. Just do what you would be doing if you were doing it by yourself or with anybody, and, and you'll find that um, you know, people are like sponges, no matter what their capability or capacity is, they're, they're going to surprise you. And it's going to be fun, and it goes by so fast, you're going to want to spend more time with them at the end. <laughs>